On Tuesday, we found out that the U.S. trade deficit widened by almost 12% in March as the coronavirus pandemic grounded international flights, froze the global tourism industry, and caused massive disruptions in the exchange of goods such as new cars and iPhones. Canada's trade deficit also soared, and the U.K. services PMI, as well as the Swiss consumer prices, fell. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we don't have much of high risk nature on the economic calendar besides the continued COVID-19 updates and the German market PMI. Today, I'm looking at the dollar yen pair, which finally broke below the daily Ichimoku cloud and the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of 106.45. With this, and based on the Ichimoku indicator, we could first see a temporary correction towards 107, and then the doors may get open for medium-term drops towards 105, which is the 61% Fibonacci retracement level. Now, how low do you think the dollar yen pair will go? head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.